Sawat Dika. Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am doing a remake of an old classic green papaya salad. Now this dish is so iconic of Thai cuisine that I think it's served at every single Thai restaurant outside of Thailand, at least that I've ever been to. Now as a refresher, green papaya salad in Thai is called som tam. Now som is a term that either means orange or sour, so sour in this case, and tam means to pound in a mortar and pestle, and that is what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. So what a lot of people don't know is that the word tam in Thailand refers to a whole host of salads that are made in the mortar and pestle. And there's hundreds and hundreds of varieties and they don't have to contain any green papaya at all. And the one we're gonna make today is called som tam thai, which means Thai style papaya salad, which if you have a papaya salad offered at your local Thai restaurant, I can almost guarantee it is this kind, okay? So let's first deal with the papaya. The green papaya is just an underripe version of a regular papaya, so not any sort of, you know, different variety. And I'm going to peel it. So we're gonna julienne this papaya. You can do that in one of two ways. You can get an Asian style julienne peeler, which is widely available these days and just peel off strings. Or you can just use a knife. So you hold it sort of firmly in your hand and you're gonna chop, 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 okay? And make lots of incisions. Watch your fingers, please. And so once you've made lots of little incisions, you're just gonna slice off a layer. And then what you get is beautiful little green papaya shreds. Make sure you make deep enough incisions and don't slice off too thick because otherwise they just come out into one big sheet, right? Now I'll show you a little trick that will help these become even more crispy and crunchy. So you're gonna soak this in some ice water. And I don't know if back in high school you ever did that science experiment where you stick a potato in water and suddenly they're like super crunchy that's what's happening here as well so and a lot of people do this in thailand so it's not like i came up with this so just let it soak for 10 15 minutes it doesn't have to be long and i just do this as the first thing and then i get all my other stuff ready and then by the time i'm ready to go it'll be ah refreshed Let's go over the ingredients real quick before we start pounding. So I've got some garlic and chilies. Chilies as much as you like. People go crazy with papaya salad. Next, we've got some palm sugar. Now palm sugar, in my last video, I cooked it down into a syrup so that I wouldn't have any trouble with it dissolving in the Morton pestle. This time around, I figured out a way of doing it without having to make a syrup. You just have to make sure you cut it really, really fine first. So what I do, I shave it thinly with a sharp knife and then I run my knife over it again until I don't have any more big chunks. Here I've got some dried shrimp, really like shrimp jerky, really nice, chewy, meaty, umami flavor. I've got big ones, so I give them a rough chop, but if you've got small ones, you can leave them whole. Some roasted peanuts. I roast mine fresh because I find the flavor is better, so I buy the peanuts raw, and then I just put it in the oven. Some grape tomatoes that I cut in half. Some long beans. Now, these long beans are really, really long. You can also use French green beans, which are a little smaller, nuttier, but I would give those a quick blanch. These you can just eat raw. Seasoning now, I've got fish sauce. Now, if you are sort of, you're still learning to love fish sauce, Three Craft brand is a good brand to start with because it is milder and smoother than most other brands, okay? It's a little more expensive, but I like to actually use it for salads because it's not overpowering. I've got some lime, which I'm gonna leave whole for now, and then some tamarind juice. Now, I call it tamarind juice because that's kind of what it is, but the jar will often label it tamarind concentrate, but it's not a concentrate, it's a diluted tamarind pulp, so really the word concentrate doesn't make any sense. This one's called tamarind paste concentrate, which really makes no sense, but there you go. This is optional. You don't have to add tamarind if you've got lime, but I find that when you combine the two different acidities, the sort of sweeter acidity of the tamarind really helps round out the flavor really well, but you can't find it, you can leave it out, not a problem. All right, I'm gonna drain the papaya. It's now really perky and crisp. I can just feel that difference. Now I'm gonna drain this. You wanna make sure you drain it really, really well because the last thing you want is all that liquid to dilute the flavor of the dressing. And then I pour it into a sort of a paper towel lined bowl so that it absorbs any extra water that's hanging out usually at the bottom of the sieve. So this mortar and pestle is 
bigger and lighter. It's made specifically for papaya salad. Now, if you don't have one like this, don't worry, in the written portion of the recipe, I'll include instructions on how you could still make the salad without any mortar and pestle at all, okay? So I'm gonna go in first with garlic and chilies. You wanna make sure the chilies and the garlic are pounded quite finely, so you wanna add them first. And try not to look at it because the chilies like to jump out and they could quite easily get into your eye if you're not careful, which I've learned the hard way. Wow, that smells spicy. So next, I'm going to add my palm sugar. We need to make sure that it's all dissolved. So I'm using my mortar and pestle to really mash all that palm sugar and the moisture from the garlic and the chilies will help that dissolve and it'll turn it into sort of a muddy, pasty consistency, which will then easily dissolve into the dressing after. So next, we're going in with the long beans and you don't even have to chop these. You can just break them directly into the mortar. There we go. Now you want to pound the long beans and actually get them to break a little bit because you want the beans to be able to absorb the dressing because right now they're really firm and tight and if they're intact, the dressing is just going to sit around the outside and doesn't really get inside, right? So you want to crush them until they're broken, not until they're mush, just until they're broken. Okay, so just like that. The dry shrimp and then I'm going to go in with just half my peanuts because you're gonna save the rest for later. So pound that down. I just want the peanuts to be kind of broken up. And I like that because they distribute better amongst the salad. It helps sort of thicken the dressing a little bit. This is sort of what it looks like. It's sort of a yummy little mess. So now the rest of my dressing. I've got the fish sauce going in, some tamarind going in. Oh, and that's another thing. Different brands of tamarind, even the same brand but different batches, really vary in acidity. So it's one of those things you just kind of have to taste and adjust afterwards, okay? Okay, so now my lime juice. Now I've got a little trick for you for the limes, why I kept it whole. And the way Thai people cut limes, we don't cut it in half like this. We cut it first sort of a little bit off center. And this way, this is really easy to squeeze, okay? Because you don't have the core and you've got a good grip on it. And then the second piece, you're trying to avoid the core, so you come off like that. And then the last piece, you cut the core off. And these three pieces will be easy to squeeze. Squeeze the lime right into ooh, the mortar as much as you can. And then I'm throwing in the skin right in there because there's a lot of aromatic essential oils in the skin of the lime that when you add to it, it really adds a nice lime fresh flavor. See, once you learn how to cut your lime this way, you'll never cut it any other way again. Okay, now this one, it's really big. I'm just gonna cut the skin in half so it doesn't look like this massive piece of skin in the salad. So now I'm gonna add another weapon and give this a stir. And by the way, you don't eat the skin, okay? The skin is there just to add extra lime flavor to the dressing. You just eat around it. Just to be clear. Oh, this is where it starts to really smell like papaya salad. All right, last thing is going in the papaya and tomatoes. And now you kind of want to pound, but lightly. So I'm doing sort of the pound and flip method. So what I do is I flip so the dressing gets on top and then I just pound it a couple of times lightly just to get the tomatoes a little bit bruised and the juice of the tomatoes will come out and mix a little bit, become a part of the dressing. But at this point, you don't want to be like pounding the heck out of it. All right, that's it. Let's plate it up. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yes. Then you eat this with sticky rice and you just use the sticky rice to sop up all that sauce. See, and then you see the lime, and then you know they use fresh lime. Because in Thailand, a lot of sort of cheap papaya, ven papaya salad vendors will use bottled lime juice, which is made, for, it's like fake lime juice basically. And so when you don't see it, then you kind of question whether they use real lime juice or not. I'm salivating. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Wow, that is how a papaya salad should make you feel. My mouth is a little bit on fire because it's spicy, but really refreshing. It should make you feel alive, <laughs> like the perky papaya shreds. Crunchiness, 
Okay, crunchiness is important, so make sure you soak those papaya shreds in the ice water. Nutty peanuts, also the long beans are nutty as well, different kind of nutty. So it's just, it's just so much fun. I mean, this is, this is fun food. So I hope you give this a try. It's such a classic and it's really, really quite easy. Oh, and by the way, if you have a beer, this goes really well together. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And please subscribe to the show if you haven't done so. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Cheers! Now, what a lot of people don't know is that the word ta, the word... <laughs> suddenly I have oh, a... Wow, that was so Suddenly, suddenly I have a Thai accent. <laughs>